Alright guys, how's it going? So this is continuing on with the modelling series. Now merging vertices is one of these things you just can't get away from in 3D. Some users actually might know this as welding points. The shortcut for this in Blender is Alt and M. If that doesn't work for you, you can always come up to Vertex, you can see here, Merge Vertices. So what I'm going to do here in edit mode is I'm going to select the first point and select the second point and I'll press Alt and M and I'll look at the first option was at first. So in theory that means the point's going to move to the first point. So it should move from right to left. So something like this. I'll quickly undo that. Alt and M at last means it'll move to the last point in the selection. So it should move from left to right. Quickly undo that again, Alt and M, at centre, pretty much exactly what it says on the tin, it'll move the two points in equal distance and it'll meet in the centre. So something like this. Now the next option is at cursor, and that means the 3D cursor. Now to move the 3D cursor it's fairly simple, you press shift and right click. I'll press Alt and M and I'll move it to the cursor, and you can see here, it's moved to the 3D cursor. Now you may have noticed that we have one more option and that's collapse. So that essentially collapses the polygons or the vertices into a point. So I'll show you around this side because it'll be easier to see. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to select these four polygons and I'll do a face dissolve. Then I'll press Alt and M and because we're in polygons or faces mode, the options are actually restricted and you can see here collapse and this should move all the points into the centre. Something like that. Now you need to be careful when you're using merge tools because sometimes you can actually end up with points sitting on top of other points. Now let's say for instance we have two points sitting on top of each other. What you can do is actually remove doubles. Now this has actually been renamed to merge by distance. So you can find it in mesh, clean up, merge by distance and that will actually remove points sitting on top of each other. And that's pretty much the basics of the merge tool. Now you do have options to actually use snapping, so you can actually snap to certain vertices, edges, etc. But I'll talk about snapping in a later video. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, you know what to do.